New at 11, a state agency is under fire over claims it sidestepped the law when it launched a virtual cash assistance program less than two years ago. And that same program received widespread pushback. You know, a lot of folks out there said it was difficult or impossible to use. Here's 11 Alive's Doug Richards with what went wrong. It's not going to be cash, per se. It's on a virtual card. Almost from the moment it launched, users of a state-run cash assistance program complained. Physical card, I can handle. But this is virtual stuff. They'd mostly gotten images of virtual payment cards with Governor Brian Kemp's name on them, promising up to $350 for users of Medicaid, SNAP, or temporary assistance for needy families. This is Governor Brian Kemp. Governor Kemp had announced the cash assistance program alongside his wife, Marty, on a YouTube video. It was August 2022. Many Georgia schools were reopening after the pandemic, yet federal stimulus money was still getting sent to states. According to a report released by the State Department of Audits, Kemp's administration solicited contracts from four hand-picked vendors to run the program. Even though a state audit said the law required the state to publish a request for proposals on on its website. Within a week, the state gave the billion dollar contract to a company called Relevate, which posted a thank you photo last year. If we don't have competitive bidding, uh, what we're going to end up with is uh, contracts given to uh, political favorites and others at a much greater expense to the taxpayer. Richard Painter was an attorney in the George W. Bush White House who specialized in ethics. The state audit says the State Department of Human Services sidestepped a law requiring the solicitation of bids when it granted the contract. The audit identified it as a particularly large purchase that did not comply with the state rules, allowing quicker delivery of funds to beneficiaries. Although the pandemic health emergency was tapering off in August 2022, Kemp's re-election campaign was just ramping up as he faced a rematch with Democrat Stacey Abrams. Just so happens, Kemp's name appeared on the card images distributed to recipients. Uh, politicians, of course, want to hand out the money before the election, so th that may have been the truth nature of the emergency. Kemp won re-election a little more than two months later. I went to Walmart, went to Sam's Club, and neither one of them accepted. But many remember the money distribution program administered by the company selected by Kemp's administration with mixed success. I am so glad I did not go to the store. The State Department that wrote the audit asked for comment from the State Department of Human Services, which produced the cards. The DHS responded by saying it did not dispute the findings. At the Capitol, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News. You know, we should also point out we did reach out to the governor's office, which declined to comment and deferred us to the Department of Human Services.